Well, and it's only its second year the GigaZone Gaming Championship drew hundreds to Bemidji Sanford Center. In this week's Community Spotlight, our Josh Peterson shows us what changes and additions were made to this year's event. It had all the comforts of home within a large tournament atmosphere. The second annual Paul Bunyan Communications GigaZone Gaming Championship brought gamers together for a one-of-a-kind regional gaming competition. With this only being the second year of the event, significant changes were made to provide more games and amenities for its spectators and competitors. Games, um, so we've got a lot more, um, you know, obviously arcade style gaming, and then we've added just a different uh, variety of open gaming. Last year we were a little bit more limited on what games people could play, and this year I want to say there's about nine or ten different games you can play on a variety of consoles. In just its second year, the GigaZone Gaming Championship has added some of the latest and greatest in online gaming. However, if that's not for you, you can take a blast to the past, playing games like Mrs. Pac-Man and Pinball. While many were at the Sanford Center to compete, others were there to live out a fantasy and dress up as their favorite gaming characters, offering something for kids of all ages. It's young kids all the way up to, you know, I mean, we have people here 50, 60 years old, and, and it, it's fun because it brings all ages together. While the event was all fun and games, there was also a strong sense of intense competition. At the center of the two-day championship was the League of Legends tournament, where competitors battled it out against each other online and on giant screens for all to see. But for last year's winner, months of preparation went into play. Yeah, just screaming, playing some uh, solo queue flex together, you know, trying to play as much as we can, talking about strategies that we can bring out and trying to like, get our champion pools, you know, just we could really try to work on strategy this year so that we could, we could keep the championship. Overall, the competition is about community and showcasing Paul Bunyan Communications IT and web development team, which custom built and integrated much of the online technology and leverages the speed of the GigaZone. There's a lot of components that go into online gaming, but really your connection to the world is extremely important. But this week's Community Spotlight in Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.